In our last video, we created these book format types. In this video, we're going to add them to our content type. So first thing we need to do is go back to our structure and we're going to go to our content types and then we're going to go to our book content type and click on manage fields. So the next thing we're going to do is click on the add field button and then from this drop down and the field, we're going to select the taxonomy term option, which is under the reference. So under reference, taxonomy term, that one there. So let's go back to our schema. We just copy the book format and we just paste it into here and we click on save and continue. So we only want to limit this to one value. So click it, save field settings. And for help text, we can just copy the text from here. So we just copy this, paste that in there here, put a space here, and make that a capital B. Just make the things look a little tidy. We'll make this a required field because all books have a format. And here we can see our new vocabulary, which is book format. So we're going to choose this one, the one we created, and we're going to click on say settings. So we created our new book format type because we can see it here. So the next thing we want to do is have a look at what this content type looks like. So we're going to click on shortcuts and we'll see the option add content. Just go right click and open this up in a new window. So we'll click on book. So here's our book content form. We scroll down, we can see the book format option. And at the moment, it's a autocomplete field. So we could put choose Kindle or we can choose hardcover but it'd be better if we could actually see the options we have so what we need to do is go back to our book content type and click on this option that says manage form display so if we scroll down we can see our book format field here and we see it's on the autocomplete option at the moment so if we just click on this we see this drop down and the one we want us to choose is check boxes or radio buttons so we just select that one and we click on save so let's go back to our book content form and we're just gonna refresh the page, see how it looks. And if we scroll down, we can see now we have a choice of book format that we could choose from here. So that's great. So what I've done now is just quickly added some content from one of the books on Amazon. And I'm just gonna click on save so we can have a look, see how this looks like. Let's scroll down, see how it looks. So we've got our book edition here and our book format option here. So next video, we're going to be looking at how to create our illustrator fields. So look forward to seeing you in the next video.